Okay. Um, so I've been playing around with Kangaroo. Uh, it's a it's a physics uh, life physics simulator for for Grasshopper. I've been playing around with it recently and uh, kind of created this uh, shading devices for uh, more like a street canopy shading devices. Type of deal. You can see a, you can see an image over here. I got a few more a few more shots. Well, it looks from a street view. One more aerial view. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna basically walk you through how I created this. So here are all the forms that you saw in the in the renderings. And this is the actual life and all of this stuff. And this is the live form that I got scripted over here. So the way this works is that I have taken a created a box. I had the box exploded and then basically putting a mesh on two of the sides of the box. And by creating all those points of the mesh, um, I'm creating a four point surface that's based on the location of those four points. And what that allows me is to actually control uh, those points with sliders. So if I move the sliders around, it jumps between different points and it changes the and it changes how the surface looks like. Um, so once I once I had that actually it's this. Once I had that surface in there, it's that white surface underneath, it's kind of flat and it just connects the four points. I, I plugged it into a kangaroo. Kangaroo is like a life physics simulator. So what it, what it does, it allows you to specify the four points or whatever, any other number of points as anchor points and then it introduces a bunch of different forces you can apply to it. So there is a gravity force that I'm applying to it and you can control the force strength with the, with the sliders and there's a couple of interior and exterior strings that I'm applying to kind of bend those uh, edges around like this. So what happens once you apply that kind of uh, creates this form. And you can see how it works if I uh, I just play around with the sliders. So the more gravity for it, it kind of stretches it out a little bit more. I like this at around 22. Um, it's the same with the interior and exterior springs. Um, put less left force in the interior springs, it kind of cranks up the gravity force strength because there's nothing really pulling in towards the inside and it also straightens out those edges so I like that to be around 15 maybe even higher so once I had that I created four intersecting I mean the two intersecting tubes to kind of represent the structure of it the way I did this is just uh, simply projecting a connecting the two opposite points and then projecting that spline onto a mesh and then putting a pipe through it. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. And then once I had that I was able to kind of manually pull the, pull the slider. It's kind of a tedious process if you want to generate a bunch of different forms. Um, so I thought I could use uh, Ecotech and Gecko is a, is a pretty good plugin to do Ecotech simulation. Um, so I plugged it into Ecotech, so it sends the mesh straight into Ecotech and it does a solar analysis on it. And then it kicks it back uh, with the values of the solar analysis. So that value, the number of solar, radi solar radiation that falls onto the surface, becomes the fitness for, the, for Galapagos. And what Galapagos tries to do is it actually pushes and pulls on all those sliders. 
uh, it stretches them and flexes them and creates different you know variations within the family uh, within the genome and it tries to look for depending how you set it up uh, like how it's set up so it maximizes so it actually maximizes the amount of solar radiation that falls upon the surface which really means that it maximizes the shading underneath the surface uh, and I'm gonna actually show you how, to, how this form finding exercise looks like uh, I'm going to set the duration to two minutes. I don't want to run. I don't want to really optimize. I'm just going to show you how it, how it looks like for two minutes. Um, so you said whether you want to maximize it. You said it for how many minutes. Um, I just leave the rest of those settings as they are default. And then uh, you start to solve it. And it should be going through the analysis. And you can probably see it in Ecotech, yeah. So let's jump to Ecotech. So Galapagos is pulling all those sliders, moving those points around, and every time it does that, it creates a different iteration for the surface, and it sends it back to Ecotech. Ecotech analyzes it, kicks it back, and then whether it's, it's getting better or worse in terms of how much solar radiation uh, it receives, Galapagos uh, tries to kind of veer towards that to maximize it, so it, like once it finds the, uh, tries to find the most uh, maximum solar incident radiation surface, and obviously that will probably be the square, just if we connected the four extreme points, would be the the max one. Um, but you can see all the iterations you can run through, um, and what's nice about Galapagos is that actually all those iterations that it ever goes through, it becomes an uh, it becomes an input on the list and it creates a list of all those iterations that I ever went through so you can always go back and track kind of the history of of the evolution of this of the surface as it was trying to optimize it so it's like finish it only should take about it only should be two minutes and then i can go i can go back into grasshopper and pull any one of those surfaces out so there's you know a little human you can say taste factor uh, so it finished because uh, I cannot I can actually go back and see the results of this analysis of this simulation so under display if you change it to display just 10 percent it should have only the highest performing uh, solutions so if you hit reinstate, it will actually update the sliders and, and create that form. So once you, and you, can, you, know, you can go through the list of all the iterations that ever went through and see which ones are the highest performing ones. And obviously, like I was saying, that the more stretched out it is, it's kind of probably going to catch more sunlight. So these are kind of the highest performing ones. Um, once you reinstate them, you can hit OK, and then you know pipes update automatically to the surface because they're projecting on the surface, and then you can just bake it. Get the surfaces out there. Once they bake it, you can move it out of there. The CR result resulting surface with the tubes. You can export that to uh, 3ds Max like it did. Um, you can also that's the last form that it was. Uh, that's always the last form that's in Grasshopper currently in Grasshopper. It always gets sent back to Ecotech. So, so you can also get the analysis. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, kind of graphics, uh, just like I used it over here to kind of overlay it. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably gonna do a little tutorial exactly how I made it uh, someday in the future, so stay tuned and uh, feel free to shoot me an email or you know catch me on Twitter. Um, I can answer any questions that you have. 
Alright, thanks for watching.